right, good morning from Hiawassee. Finally getting a real cup of coffee. Watching the morning traffic go by. Got the morning caffeine. We're gonna run to Ingalls, do some breakfast, and then uh, find our way back to the trail. So uh, hopefully see you guys somewhere up on the mountain. So we just left Unicoi Gap from uh, staying in Hiawassee last night, and uh, we're hiking up Rocky Mountain. We've got two uh, good sized climbs today. Everybody's been warning us about it, and my Mine and Sarah's packs are full of weight from our resupply. We're carrying three days of snacks and we're carrying five days of uh, breakfast and dinner because uh, we're gonna resupply our snacks at top of Georgia and then um, just carry dinners and breakfasts all the way to Franklin. Um, we do have some extra in case it takes us some more time to get to Franklin, but I was just thinking that after you leave town, you can already tell that you're getting soft from being in town with all those things like showers and gas stations with things to drink in them and whatever. And uh, <clears throat> I remember back in the Navy, whenever we had to do something, we just expected that it was going to suck. And uh, so it didn't seem that bad. And so when you come out of town and you start hiking, you kind of go, oh, this kind of sucks. But once you do it for a while and you just accept that that's what's going to happen, uh, I think it's kind of fun. Um, you just have to embrace the suck and get used to the fact that things are going to suck and you got to just make them fun, right? Right. Right. And I am in a much better frame of mind to climb a mountain today than I was at this time yesterday, so. Yeah. <sighs> We're going to do it. Yeah. So when you leave town, don't be weak. <laughs> just say screw it. We're going to climb this thing. It's not going to get the better of us. There's All right. no other way to go. Exactly. What are we going to do? Nowhere to go but up. <laughs> you heard that joke too? Okay. So, I forgot to mention, Sarah reminded me, we uh, we were at the, at the hotel, the Budget Inn, and we saw this other hiker getting dropped off. And so I ran outside, and I asked the guy that was dropping him off if he was a shuttle driver, and if he could give us a ride. Um, he said that he wasn't an official shuttle driver, he just did it for free. Um, just because he's part of the hiking community and he likes to give back. And um, His name was Encourager. He's done over 2,000 miles of hiking and um, just likes to give back. So we're really thankful for him blessing us with his uh, presence that day, today. And we're excited to uh, get back on the trail and he helped us do it for a lot less than we thought we would have to. So thank you so much for that and uh, so long. Encourager, Encourager, here's that tree you were talking about. It's still hanging on. And there's the trail. Tempting fate going underneath it. And we're about to crest out on Rocky Mountain, Rocky Top Mountain. Rocky Mountain top. Rocky Mountain. Yeah. So, then on to the next. This is a little lesson for everybody. I learned this uh, at Safety Town. My mom used to teach it in Delaware. You look left. You look right. And you look left again. And then you cross the road. Or you stand in the middle of it. <coughs> And just like that, Trey Mountain's done. Wow. Look at these views. And there's the flatlands of Georgia over that way. Incredible.
Okay, everybody. This is not how I'm going to sleep tonight, but I've got my standard triangle set up. Got the backside pulled over just so I can get all my stuff put away. But let me show you where I'm going to be drinking my coffee from in the morning. How about that? Right? Got my pillow. Well, my puffy jacket that is a pillow now. Sleeping area. Coffee area right there. If this ain't what it's about, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm a little bit proud of myself. I'm gonna do some dinner, a little bit of recovery, and uh, hang out for a little bit. Sarah's right over there. Got it. Just as good of a view. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, and I think that means it's the 28th, 7th, I don't know. But one tip for you is if you don't have any coffee left, which I do have plenty of coffee, just wake up when it's 27 degrees and change into your hiking clothes. That will wake you up. Yes, it will. Good morning, everybody. We woke up. What time did we wake up? About five. Yeah, like five. Trying to beat the rain. And then we didn't beat the rain anyways. So our tents got wet. There. Trying to get the light right. <laughs> I won't move. And, uh, hiked in the rain, in the dark. Mm -hmm. And now we're sitting here underneath of this, uh, information board thing waiting for our water to boil so we can get some caffeine in us and then we're going to top of georgia to get some snacks before we head to franklin yep hey everybody so we are here at top of georgia hostel we got in here at like 10 minutes after they opened so that we could pick up um some extra food, just snacks and stuff to get going. Food prices, I didn't look at everything, but you know, it's probably about what you'd expect for trail prices, not bad. There's Sarah, we're all loaded up and we're gonna hit the road. If you do come here um, in the morning, and I don't know if it continues all day, but they, they'll offer you some free coffee and stuff. The only rule they have is that if you're gonna go inside um, the main lounge area that you you know, take your shoes off, um, which makes sense. We got our boots covered in mud, so um, they seem really friendly here. Um, I've heard some bad things, but uh, none of those have proven to be true thus far. So, um, yeah. Anyway, they're full up tonight, not that we're staying here, but a lot of people that we'd been hiking with are taking another zero just to avoid this deluge that's about to come down upon us today. And we're dumb, and we're going to keep hiking. All right, <clears throat> I had a goal to talk to everybody on the uphills so that you guys know that we do, in fact, go uphills. But uh, Sarah and I were just talking about the guy we met last night who's also attempting a through hike and his family, uh, they are opening a brewery in Helena, Montana which is the same brewery that we wanted to go to before we left, but it wasn't ready. So, <clears throat> super small world that he knew where Helena, Montana was, and he had family there, and the brewery. I mean, full circle, we're going to have to go back to Helena and have a beer there. Let them know that that, uh, that guy sent us. Check out the halfway point for the day, y'all. 
What? Upper deck. Doesn't look like anybody's been here, so it's wicked dry. Got a picnic table. Big overhang, new roof. This is great. We're here, North Carolina. What do you want to say to Georgia? I miss the nice weather. I was going to say it's been nice. And uh, you may not have won the national championship, but you won our hearts. Fuck this rain today, though. Yeah, that too. We're going to uh, go to Bly Gap and evaluate whether we move on to Muskrat Creek or if we set up in the rain. Well guys, we're leaving Muskrat Creek Shelter, so I guess that'll tell you what happened last night. We ended up uh, making the horrible extra 2.7 or whatever it was from Bly to Muskrat Creek um, over some windy ridges. and. It was cold and wet and miserable. And then we got into camp and we we're still cold, wet, and miserable. But once we ate and climbed in our sleeping bags, the day felt a little bit better. So it is Thursday, um, the 1st of March. So this is where everybody's kicking off. I guess they had full registrations for Springer and uh, the approach trail today. So that's 100 people at two different shelters, um, 50 at each shelter. That's a lot. So I'm glad that we're at mile 80 instead of mile 1. Are we past 80? 80.9, uh, I think. Anyway, I think we're over 80. So how was last night for you? Slept good. But, uh... I slept good, but, um... So the hike was fucking miserable. I hated it. And we got up here and I had dry clothes on. And I was making a warm dinner. And then I spilled my macaroni and cheese on myself. Before it had started cooking, so it was really just cheesy water. <laughs> and then my dry clothes were wet. And so yesterday gets an F from me. But today's a new day. An F for going... fucking miserable. Yes, that is what the F stands for. <clears throat> but we're only going five miles today. So hopefully today will be better. Yep. A little bit better. So yeah, not fourteen miles today. We did we ended up doing fourteen with the top of Georgia um uh trip, which is a mile uh round trip from the trailhead. <laughs> And then we did 13 actual trail miles, so we're about done with that crap for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, maybe come back to those long days after the smokies or something. See how it goes then. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm going to talk about what it was like getting dressed this morning. <laughs> um, I think, like... A month into um, somebody's hike last year, they said, um, if you want to know what it's like getting up in the morning and hiking after you've been wet, go ahead and take your clothes and get them wet in the faucet, wring them out so they're just damp, and stick them in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, get up. <laughs> Go out on your back patio where it's like 60 degrees, 40 degrees, and go ahead and get dressed. Make sure nobody's looking. I don't need anybody getting put on watch lists. But just then you'll know what it feels like to get dressed in the morning with cold, damp clothes in cold temperatures. 
And the best thing to do is to just suck it up, put them on, and get moving. And then you'll get warm enough and you, you'll know they're wet, but you'll at least be warm. So, tip of the day. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, it was really, really cold when you first put it on. But then, like I, like, patted my shirt down all to my body. So it was like when you, you're getting in water that's kind of cold, you gotta just go in head first. And then it's all over with and it doesn't feel so bad. That's a good way to talk about it. Good morning. It's March 2nd. Uh, not sure what time it is this morning. Probably like 8 something. We're leaving Standing Indian Shelter. We got poured on last night uh, as we were hiking. So we got in the shelter, dried out as best we could. And uh, woke up this morning, temperatures were below freezing, um, slept with the water filter in the sleeping bag so it wouldn't freeze, and uh, boots were all frozen stiff. I got a picture of our socks uh, that were frozen in place. Definitely a cold morning. So we're doing 11.9 to Betty's Creek today and then um, gonna camp there because it's not supposed to rain and then we're going to get picked up at Rock Gap uh, to go into Franklin on Saturday tomorrow so hang in there we're gonna have a steep climb this morning to the top of uh, Standing Indian should be the highest point come to before the Smokies, so talk to y'all. Hey, so we're coming over the top of Standing Indian, going down towards, um, I don't even remember what gap we're going towards, but um, today is March 2nd, I've already said that, and I was just thinking about, I was just thinking about um, 18 years ago, um, today, my grandpa passed away. We called him Jaji, and I was 12 years old, and uh, I was, you know, being a young kid, you're dumb, you don't realize the kind of relationships that you have with uh, relatives, and I know that my Jaji always wanted to have a good relationship with me, um, and so I wish that I was more mature to have given him a better uh, experience, but we had some pretty good times together, and I just wanted to... Uh, let you guys know that I'm thinking about my Jaji today. 18 years, but the memories are still strong. Oh, and uh, I've been clearing sticks off the trail uh, in Jaji's honor. Um, I think if you if you knew my Jaji, you will know exactly why that's funny. So, all right, so. <clears throat> Sarah, do you want to tell everybody what your trail name is that you've accepted? My trail name is Z's. Because even though I was not napping, I was putting my feet up and the sun was in my eyes, so I covered up my eyes. People thought I was napping on our lunch break. And I don't see, like, myself stopping doing that. So, Z's is... My trail name. Hey, we made it. Okay, North Carolina. <clears throat> I know that Georgia's on their game, and they take care of stuff. And, you know, we walked through the aftermath of the Hurricane Irma blowdowns and didn't have to go over under a single tree in Georgia. And you guys are intimidated because Georgia does such a good job. But come on, North Carolina. You can't clear out this horse-sized blow down that's like the third or fourth one we've come across today i'm just saying 
you guys seem opposed to switchbacks and clearing trees. No, I'm just kidding. You guys are doing a great job. I know it's not easy and you can't know when stuff falls down. Um, but yeah, looks like the section from North Carolina border with Georgia up to where we are just past Standing Indian uh, needs a little bit of clearing. Thanks for all the work you do. Let's see what this looks like out here. A little side trail. Oh my gosh. How about that? Let's give you a little zoom in on these rocks. I don't know. But I think those tall ones over there, is that close enough to be the Smokies? Oh, maybe the, okay. <laughs> We only got like a mile and a half, two miles left for the day. And then Franklin tomorrow. So excited. Burgers, Chinese food, resupply, showers, a bed. Town will make you soft, but sometimes, you know, it's nice to feel a little luxurious. Especially when it's your birthday. It's, it's my birthday tomorrow. It's my birthday weekend starting today, so. Hey everybody, so <clears throat> you know you have someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with when in the morning when it's cold the day before your birthday uh, they give you via instant coffees that they had been sneaking into the woods without uh, your knowledge and then when it comes to the end of the day and it's dinner time they brought mac and cheese that's liquid that is liquid mac and cheese everybody that is the real deal I can't believe that she would pack that up and over all those mountains just for my birthday. It means so much. Love her. Good morning, everybody. It is March 3rd. That is Saturday. Um, this is the day we're going into town, into Franklin. It's 8.5 uh, to get from here to Rock Gap where we're getting picked up. We're going to uh, go over Albert Mountain, which should be fun. Everybody says it's a little bit of a rock scramble at the top. And then we can uh, get some pretty awesome views of the Smokies. It is completely blue skies. I don't know if you'll be able to see completely blue skies. So hopefully we get some great views up there today. Um, we camped down at Betty Creek in this um, grove of rhododendrons. And uh, it was pretty nice, a little cold because we're by the stream. It was drawing air up through there the whole night. But not bad at all. Um, Oh, and then uh, update on my trail name. It was going to be Nice Guy, but last night um, everybody kind of unanimously decided that my name was going to be Not Today because uh, people offered me some recreational uh, drugs, we'll say, and uh, my response was, eh, not today. And so they just called me Not Today, like all at the same time they said the same thing, so... There it is. Someone asked my trail name, I'm just gonna respond, not today. All right, we got 0.5 miles to get to the top where that tower is right up there. We're almost 100 miles. Yep. It's like a mile to go. Yeah, kinda sucks. We're gonna celebrate at the 100 mile mark, I guess. Uh, at the 99.5 mile mark because the tower is just a cooler place to do it. So we're going to celebrate. Hopefully no one dies on the other half mile. <laughs> Here's the climb up Albert. Just going to give them perspective. You see how far you go. How far are you? Well, just, yeah. See how... There you go. Pretty straight up and down. 
beautiful though. It's so hard to convey uh, steepness. But it's steep. Can't wait to see what this view looks like. Okay. Hundred mile mark. Well. Hey. $250 penalty, that's not too bad. I got some tent spots up here. Thanks. Well worth the climb. And even though it's, it's only symbolic, 100 miles, 0.5 short of 100, but it feels good. It's, it's windy, I don't wanna drop my phone off this thing. We accidentally walked into the fanciest place in town. It doesn't have to mention it. In Croc. You're very welcome to your Good morning, everybody. We're here in Franklin, North Carolina. It's Sunday, May 4th, March 4th. And, uh, got into town yesterday. We're taking a zero today. Yesterday was a really good day. We, uh, only did like eight and a half miles, but we summited Mount Albert. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, summited Mount Albert, which was a really cool hike with a really cool view. We had really great weather. And then the rest of the hike was good. Got some trail magic, some uh, turkey noodle soup that I could have eaten like five bowls of, but I didn't because I didn't want to hog it all. And then... Got our ride in town. We're staying at the Gooders Grove. Uh, just had to go to McDonald's for breakfast. We wanted to go to a diner, but everything in this town closes on Sundays, so. It's the Lord's Day. It is the Lord's Day, I guess. So, um, we went to McDonald's. Head back, lay down for a little bit, chill. And then hopefully someone will give us a ride over to Walmart so we can resupply and then the all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet is next door to the Walmart so we will be there sometime around lunch today so yep Gooders Grove is like right up on that hill behind that building so we're almost there getting to downtown you have to walk down the hill and then back up another hill over there so that's kind of a pain in the butt but we didn't have to do any hills to get to McDonald's today. Goodridge Grove super nice. Um, they've got basic rules, just 
take your boots off that you've been hiking with and uh wash your the, hands get the noro off your hands yeah and uh you know just be be nice to people and try not to take advantage of the place you know just be a good human so as long as you do that you should be good to go at gooders grove they're great people mm-hmm uh what else Oh, Outdoor 76, the uh, outfitter here in town. Went there yesterday. Uh, they didn't have much of a selection of anything. It was pretty bare bones, I thought. Um, and their dude gives terrible hamburger recommendations. He asked him where to go to get a good hamburger. And y'all, it's the worst hamburger I've had in a long time. Yeah, so. but that place did have what we needed, um, but minus your... Yeah, I couldn't find any warmer, like, fleecy, uh, long underwear, so hopefully Walmart will come through later today. But, but. Outdoor 76 was super duper nice to us, and uh, they helped us with what they could. Yeah, they were nice, and then we got free bandanas, so... All right, wanted to give you guys a view of what it looks like from the common area of Gooder Grove, Gooders Grove. Pretty nice. Got some seating. Big old dining room table. Nice kitchen. It's like, a, you know, little prices here for all the things you want. Coffee, um, you know, pop, whatever. Got your rules of engagement right there. You know, just basically don't be an asshole and uh, be clean as you can. Nice outdoor area. Um, they got a bunch of hammocks and stuff. You get free rides uh, if uh, available around town. Um, but you know it's going to be the busy season soon, so that's not a guarantee. So just be aware of that. And um, we were staying. We're staying in this room. Uh, it's 40, I want to say it's 43 a night for a private room. So Sarah and I got this room here. You see our gear is everywhere. Um, and then it did come with bunks in this room. Then down the hall, there's I think four more bunks in that room, maybe more. The bathroom is right here. Bathroom is right here. It's really nice. <clears throat> they clean it every day. Um, they were just in here. They actually washed the shower curtain while we've been here. They maintain the whole place really nice. Um, there's some extra stuff that some other hikers bring that are um, for anybody to use uh, if you want to use them. Uh, they do provide towels and they have um, clothes for you to do your laundry so you can wear clothes and wash all your stuff at the same time so you don't have to wear rain gear, which is really cool. Um, it's six bucks for laundry. Um, they do it for you, so you don't have to even mess with it. And uh, they're really fast about getting it done. Um, all kinds of books, movies, um, PlayStation, all whatever you want. The Wi-Fi here is great. Um, you see they've got YouTube videos on right now of uh, AT hiking. So really, really friendly. We were shuttled to Walmart and um, back for free which was really, really cool. And um, the shuttle is typically included with the, uh, from the trailhead with your stay. So that's as much as I can remember to say for now, but super nice place, glad we ended up staying here. And town is right over there. It's about a five minute walk um, to the downtown, plenty of stuff to get there, beer and um, whatnot. Ingles is like a 10 minute walk, so nice spot. All right, so I'm gonna make a fool of myself right now because I forgot to do Sing It Saturday on Saturday. It is Sunday, um, and I was gonna sing this on the way into Franklin. So you let me know what you think it is. I think it's pretty much a dead giveaway. You shake my pack and you rattle my stove on the way to Good as Grove. Is that a hill? Oh, what a pill. Goodness gracious, great God, I'm tired. I look like an idiot.